Okay, hello everybody. We're going to do the coca melon. And this was sent to me uh, to see if we could adapt it. And it's got, um, let's see if you turn it on. Lights on the front. And activation on this toy is to press this top. Let's see. What am I not doing right? Something's not right. Hello, everybody. We're going to adapt this cocoa melon. And it was sent to me as a special request. I didn't have the original packaging or instructions, but apparently... To activate this toy, you turn it on and you press this top. And it times out of where it's going to run. All right. Okay. We're going to stop that from running off the counter. So here's our activation button inside. Now there's seven screws to get into it. I've taken them all out. They're long, a little tedious to do, but once it's in, opened up, ready to go, let's see. We have to do a little gentle frying here. Start cracking the case open. So <clears throat> most of the yeah, so there's the first thing. It, it comes apart easy. Um, this, let's see. Okay, so the this part come out. The front is going to set to the side. And I'm going to turn this around. Here's the switch that was in here. And it sits there. So fortunately, we have a... Uh, Couple of solder points on a PCP, a P, yeah, printed circuit board mounted switch. And although it looks a little crusty looking there with regards to the soldering that they did, those are definitely solder points that we can use for our cable. So I'm going to run the cable, let's see, through the back, probably next to the switch area. I'm going to drill from the inside out to get my hole so that we make sure that we avoid any and all components. Uh, I'm going to go low. Let's see. Okay, so here we've got a hole in there now. You can see it way down back there. Uh, anyway, we'll identify it by bringing the cable in. How's that? So... When we're finished with this, we have components running up to here, up to this area. I want about that much cable inside. So we're gonna grab this back and we're gonna tie a knot in it right there. I tie knots in uh, the cables as a strain relief to keep it from being accidentally pulled out of the uh, toy and also to make sure that it doesn't pull on our solder connections. So let's see with that amount of cable from there, that gives us some room to work. The circuit board is 
floating. And like I say, we've got two solder points on the top there. Let's uh, tighten up this knot. I'm going to, because this is a roly poly thing, it's all round. It's a little awkward to hold everything together. But if I can print this into the third hand, we get our soldering iron turned up. And add these to that connection there. There would be, oops, that didn't do it. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I just discovered that what I've got here is a bunch of gummy stuff on the top, glue. Okay. I'm going to have to pull the pin out of the way for a moment. I'm going to remove the glue that's there. Um, I saw I was soldering to or heating up was glue or protective compound anyway. So let's get that out of the way. All right. We've got that pulled off now well enough. I think I can use it. Solder this now to the uh, to the solder point there. All right, there's one. Let's see. A little awkward to do this. <laughs> But there's the second one. Okay, so oops, nope, I didn't get it soldered down. Let's see if I've got some more of that glue in the way. Sure looks like it. Kind of a rubber cement looking stuff here, really. All right. So that one's soldered good. That one's soldered good. Let's plug this into a switch that I have off camera. Let's see. And turn it back on. Okay, so we'll be doing a few things here to make sure that this is secured and all good. Punch the uh, remote switch, and this is ready to roll. Okay. Super. Turn it off. So, when this goes back together, we have got to be careful of making sure that uh, let's put the button back in, put the uh, piece of the silicone switch back on. I'm going to reach behind it. I've got a grip of the uh, tab that came through and we're just going to roll it. 
and that's putting it back into place. This was, how was it set there? Let's go back to, you got a 50-50 chance. I think it was that way. Yeah, it was. Yeah, there it was. Okay. When you put this back together, we're going to slide this on. This tab sits on top of that button. And you see that's not held in there by anything. It's floating. It's held in place when you put the rest of the clamshell back together. When you put the two parts together that holds it in place. So when you put this on, you want to be very careful that the button, that the switch itself is properly set. Right now, when you put this in, you can see that I'm, I think you can see here that I'm squishing the button up out of the way and so it is not not going to work right so you really got to make sure that when that goes in that that's what it looks like okay that it's sitting right on top of there and right where it's supposed to be Otherwise, it will not uh, it will not activate by factory switch. And again, because this is round, it's kind of awkward to put. Oops, yeah. kind of awkward to put everything back together. Um, so yeah, it just just jumped out. So I got to be pretty cautious in lining this up. See how well I do here. Yeah, okay, I think we're getting we're getting there. I I can't surely show you what's going on inside here because it's um if I move it up to the camera, it will jump out. See if I've got it back together. I've got something in the board there. I don't know how they... I'm not sure how they put this together at the factory to make it... make it right. Because I cannot see... You can't see in there to put that board in the right place, and it feels like I've got it in the wrong spot because it's not closing the clamshell. But anyway, <clears throat> so we turn it back on. And I punch the remote switch, it activates. All right. So we're going to turn it off. Anyway, that's how you adapt the Coco Melon using that top button. And thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or requests, please contact me. This is uh, Santa from Santa Switch Adapted Toys. You have a wonderful day. Uh, like and subscribe. That's what uh, that, that that way you get notified of all the. Uh, <clears throat> all the new adaptions that I put out. So, all right. Thank you.